What's up guys and welcome to a new episode of Let's Play Shovel Knight and today we're gonna go and fight this dude. Some random dude on the map, who is this guy? Oh. North from Pridemore, west at the fork. Oh brother, I must have passed it already. Well, Matt Traveler. Oi, maybe you can help. I think I got lost. I was trying to... Wait a second, you're the knight with the shovel. Indeed, I'm the... The knight with the shovel who has been... Menacing the village. I, I assure you I've done no such... You're gonna use that shovel to bury innocent people. Your reign of terror ends here. Uh-oh. No, is this a misunderstanding? This is what happens when you don't let the b bad guy have his opening evil line of dialogue. You don't know if he's actually a bad guy, or just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I mean, that's why it's really bad when you have silent bad guys. It's like, what if they're not actually bad guys, like Bowser or something? Uh, some games Bowser talks, and some he does not. What if he's just being framed and he can't get his way out of it because nobody gives him the time to talk? Bowser, the secret good guy. <laughs> Well, I guess Shovel Knight understands now. Okay, this guy's pretty simple to kill. If you use your, you know, your power wand, we already have him dead. <laughs> and I'm right on top of him. Okay, can we talk now? To your worst villain, strike me down. I'm no villain, we're here fighting a common enemy. We, we are? Why didn't you say so? Now you feel like a fool. Think nothing of it, friend. The knights are strongest when they work together. Yeah, Knight's Code. First vow, always help a person in need. Knock him down, Shovel Knight. Awesome, and we get a music piece. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, with that out of the way, why don't we go to our next level? And that's gonna be down here. And it's gonna be Iron Whale, Lair of Treasure Knight. Let's hop in. It's shoveling time. Now this level can be a little difficult. It is a, uh, Underwater level. So, I don't really have a good track record with underwater levels. I usually have a hard time with them all the time, and this one's really not that different. Now, this is another thing that's really, really similar to Mega Man, is that the, how the water works. You know, you jump super stinking high in water. You just got this, like, NBA jump style of stuff. Now, these uh, snails we killed, or these hermit crabs, we can hit their shell and it'll bounce things all over the place. That's gonna be a useful mechanic for later in the level. Okay, let's get this. <laughs> and the music here is pretty good as well. The soundtrack in this game is just absolutely perfect. We can use these uh, shells to get us some stuff. Looks like we missed out on a diamond though. Oh well. Uh oh. Our treasure's all floating away. We don't want that. Uh oh. These guys are being mean to me too. Come on. Get rid of this one. Okay. And we can fish here. Wow, fishing underwater. That's interesting. Come on. Boom. Ooh, it's going to be a triple king. So, hooray, you filled my chalice. Okay, so I can absorb nearby treasure. Hmm. All right, let's move to the right then. I like the, the background design in this one. I don't know, it's like the level of detail that's put on the uh, ship itself is pretty cool. Okay, now this area can be a little hard to get the, oh, ooh, don't fall. Oh boy. It's already hard enough to kill this guy, but now we gotta get this snail over here. No! And the wind up, and the pitch. Oh, we got it, okay. Uh, now when it comes to getting these, we have just about no hope. We got sort of a bad luck of the draw here, so we can't get that one in the middle. Oh well, we're out a thousand gold, what can we do? Like, literally nothing. There's nothing we can do or have that can get us out of that situation right now. So we just have to deal with it. Now these guys I don't believe we can kill. Nope, they are invulnerable to our attacks, so why not just fall back down? No, I don't wanna do that, I wanna get up here and actually make this jump. It can be a hard little area to deal with, but we do have a chest for it. I'm hoping there's a music piece, it would be very worth the agony, but there's not one. Oh well. Okay, so how are we getting out of this? By going up here. Hoo -ah. Okay, let's head on down. And to the right. The aesthetic to this level is very genuine. And there's something like unique and interesting about it for sure. Oh gosh, Purple Knight. Purple Knight, you're going down. Whoa, he has the anchor throw. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get up here. Ooh. I gotta be careful for these bubbles, cause it's like, oh God, oh boy. 
I almost fell there. I was almost the end of me. Oh gosh, Invisafish! Get away from me, Invisafish! Excuse me. Get out of here. There you go. So we can actually hop too high here and get killed by jumping into the spikes. One thing also very similar to Mega Man, especially Mega Man 2, the Bubble Bubble Man level. Mega Man 2 is personally my Mega Man of choice, I guess. I haven't played every one, but. Out of the few I've played, I think Mega Man 2 is definitely mine of choice. Alright, let's go to the left here. Got another little secret. Okay, so we gotta have to use our phase locket. I don't know why, but this music really reminds me of the Sega Genesis game Aladdin, based off, of course, the Disney movie. But it's weird why it reminds me of that, because I'm not entirely sure. I guess there might be a song that's similar in the soundtrack or something like that. Okay, let's do this and get fishing. What's, what, what's this one gonna be? It's gonna be a goldfish. Oh, but he keeps swimming so he can get away. Oh boy, I guess that's the ploy of being in the water. No, 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 my goldfish! Well, but it looks like we lost our opportunity for the goldfish, but at least I got my money back, so nothing gained, nothing lost, I guess. All right, now these things can smash us to smithereens, so we gotta be careful there. A lot of dangerous stuff in this level, just, it's weird, like, how scary this level is, because it's like, it seems like every little thing is just a matter of how long you press the button. If you press it for a moment too long, you're dead. You're dead meat, and there's nothing you can do about a crab! Fun fact for you, I have a fear of crabs, I guess. I don't know, I, I really get uncomfortable near crabs. Luckily enough, I haven't had the opportunity to be near many of them. So I don't know if that's a withstanding fear of mine, but it's one that my my girlfriend Michaela makes fun of all the time. And now I died again. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Finally got that guy. It, it might just be easier to use your flare wand there. I did want to try something here. Wanted to try using my Icker of Fortune. And yes, okay, so if you really are in a tight spot where, like, you lost your cash and you can't really get it back, like, you know, like, when you die, you'll lose the money bags. Sometimes it can land in a position where it's really hard to get, and in some cases impossible to get. Well, you can use this Icker, and it'll actually grab it for you, which is very, very nice. I never knew that. That was actually just me using my head a bit. Okay. Oh, boy. These tentacles are really cool, but also really spooky. Like, where did they come from? Why are they here? <laughs> Alright, what's over here? Some food. Awesome. And there's a secret over here. What's it gonna be? Another exit to the right? Uh-oh. Scary looking stuff, oh no! I died again. All right, I don't have any more Icker, so I'm not gonna be able to get this one back unless I get lucky with this fish. Also, I just got that fishing hook dunk. Come on. So wait a minute, oh wow! I'm just learning a whole bunch of new stuff today. Apparently you can get your stuff back like that. Oh, and I'm lose it again. <laughs> Okay, so obviously you guys know how to do that now. I just... Just do it better than I did, okay? <laughs> just do it much better than I did. You saw my mistakes, don't make the same mistakes. Alright, let's head down. Ooh. These tentacles are quick. So we gotta be quick. It can be really hard to time some of this stuff, the tentacles, so you do definitely have to just really be slow with it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Looks like that this guy won't actually get me where I want, so I gotta take this one. We gotta take this road. Actually, there was probably a thingamajig up there. Now I'm really tempted to check it out, so let me use... Can I, can I do that? No, it won't let me. Well, I really hope that I didn't just go past the, uh, the place where you can unlock the next power-up. I honestly have no idea. Oh well, I guess we'll find out sooner or later. Uh-oh. Oh, no, here it is. This one gets it to you nice and simple. No, oh no! I was fooled! It's a horrifying fish! Oh boy, I honestly got fooled by that too. That was no acting. Which I was that good of an actor. Gosh. Game's doing the work for me. He's being an actor, I guess. Oh boy. This is really hard. Oh, no, 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 oh, oh, oh boy. Okay, so now this guy can be a menacing monster to kill. Oh boy, come on. Uh, oh! 
Now he's on this side. No, fish, leave me alone. It's a gigantic fish with smaller, equally as evil fish living inside of him. Oh! Uh oh. All out of stuff. All out of juice. All out of mana. And hopping on him doesn't really help. Okay. He's about to charge! Okay. This is really cutting it close. Oh, there we go. And he's gonna drop all of his goods into the pit, right? Oh, okay, and I still get it. Awesome. He is alive. I haven't had a ride like that in ages. I think I'm gonna be sick. Anyways, I'm about to drop another great deal on you. Want to see? Yeah, sure. Now, this isn't really something I use as a throwing anchor. Um, it's very, very hard to aim. I feel it's rather just much easier to use the flare wand. But that's just me. Okay, and what's in here? Some more chicken. Delicious, delicious. Now, I do remember that this area coming up has been used to treat me with a lot of difficulties, so hopefully I can handle this. So we got something over here. What's this gonna be? An area. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Already. So quick. <laughs> okay. Attempt number two. Get the hop down on this guy. No, and I'm gonna... Why? Why? <laughs> In a world where Zebra doesn't mess everything up, it does not exist because I mess a lot of things up, including this game. Oh boy. Oh boy. This guy means business. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, we got to the end. Can there please be a music piece in this one? Yes! Okay, there is. That was gratifying. And now we have this interesting thing, which if we hit, we get knocked way back here. Okay, so I can go over here. Hmm. Let's fish this up. Hopefully it's another chalice, because honestly, I could use a chalice. The weight's on. Oh, nope, it's a fishy fish. It's a fishy fish. And these two... Now hopefully it can make this jump. Oh boy, he scared me. He really did scare me. Oh, can I not get this? That really stinks. Come on, it's right there. I can taste it. Oh well, I just have to take my losses, I guess. Okay, so now we just gotta continue on this way. Pick up this mana pot, I'm gonna need it. Just gotta be careful of all of these manta rays all going all over the place willy-nilly. I really need some money back, so I gotta take every opportunity I can get. Hop up here, then over here. This is where jumps can get hard to make. Oh boy, these guys launch themselves. Whoa, 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 excuse me, that's, what, what, what? Like, why did... Why did the original platform I land on just do weird stuff that didn't make any sense? This this level is kicking my butt if you haven't noticed. This is why I don't like underwater levels. They just always, always, always kick my butt. There we go, finally. This is really proven to be one of my least favorite levels of the game at this point because it's driving me nuts. It's stupid difficult. All right, this guy, I really don't like this guy. Come on, come on, you wanna tussle? Let's tussle. There we go, okay. Was able to f finally just do something without messing it up first and dying a million times. Now this jump can be hard to make. You just sort of have to time it right. Barely did so. Let me uh, dig some of this stuff up too. Oh, I got a carrot, good, because I need that health. What do I, how do I get up here? Oh. Uh, oh, okay. Interesting. And now this thing, this clam thing. I I don't even know what this is, a sea urchin, maybe? Now this guy's always a jerk, and that's why. Okay, I'm gonna kick this guy's butt. I don't even need the jump cut, cause guess what? We're right here. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that at all. And now I gotta do this. Wow, like, the level is like driving me nuts here. I've never had a level kick my butt this much in this Let's Play, and I really don't think it'll be this way afterwards either. It's just, this one level hates my guts. Just, I don't know, I, I've never ever been an advocate of levels like this, but I don't know, it's like, feels like underwater levels always have this theme of being stupid. For me, at least, this is my opinion, obviously. Oh boy, and there goes my gem. Oh, no, it stayed on there, hooray! 
Okay, this might be a little difficult, but it's possible. Ooh, don't anchor me, bro. Do not anchor me. Okay, cool. Mm, this guy I don't like either. He's gonna be in here. They can attack me. Oh boy, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm getting my chest stuff. I don't want you attacking me. Ooh. These guys are so, like, good at fighting. Alright, let's get out of here quickly. Oh, food. I need that. I need that chicken. And then instantly getting hit again. Let's get out of here. Oh, boy. No, leave me alone, sir. Leave me alone. I don't wish to buy what you're selling. Okay. This can be a little weird. Is this the way we're supposed to go? I think this is the way we're supposed to go, so we don't want to go this way yet. That'd be, that's, that's the fun way. It's by going the way we're supposed to. Alright, and then over here, get our floating stuff. I, I realize that Shovel Knight doesn't have to hold his breath. I mean, does he breathe through his shovel too? Hmm, this can be a little hard. We need to just time it right. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that was really close. And here we go, the final checkpoint before the boss. It's been a long time coming. But finally, we're here. My gems, my vessel, my ocean. Your very present presence tarnishes. You are to lay claim to the sea itself. Your greed knows no bounds, treasure knight. Your hands are no less dirty. Even now, others are paying for your ever avarice. Everest? Okay. This guy just has such a big vocabulary. Let us duel, winner take all. Okay. This guy is a cool boss, though. He, he, I don't know, his look is so cool. He's such a cool looking dude. But he's also very powerful, so you gotta be careful. But if you get him in the just the right spots, you can really get the head bounce on him. Like that. And then, wait, what are you gonna do? You gonna do that? Well, I'm gonna do that, haha. <laughs> right. And then he has that like major sand smash, which looks so cool. There we go, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him, who uh, <laughs> and the anchor just falls on his head. Okay. And back to the snooze. I was really hoping for a meal ticket this time. I mean, that level earns one. That was so difficult. But we're awake now. Stick up the fire and at least get some loot that way. And let's head out. And there we go. So, we have new areas open to us that will adventure in the next episode. So I'd like to thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a Zebratastic like, and if you have any thoughts, please leave it in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos, please make sure to subscribe. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.